I'm going to show you a couple shortcuts to graphing this quadratic function that is in standard form. Now the first thing you have to do to find, to graph it, is you always have to do x equals negative b over 2a. Just remember this is a, b, c. Now what you're going to do then would be the opposite of 4 over 2 times negative 2, remember a, b, c, which that ends up giving you 1. So my axis of symmetry is right here at 1. Meaning my graph, my parabola, because I know it's a parabola because x squared, is going to fold along that dotted line. Now, I also know my vertex is going to be somewhere on here. So my vertex is going to be 1 something. And that would tell me where my vertex is. Now, a quick way, instead of plugging in 1, a quick way to find your vertex is simply focus just on this. And all you do is you go 4 times 1. You plug in the 1 and you half it. You just always take half that. It's just 4 times this number, half it, and then plus 3. So, because you, then you add the 3. So you take that and then you half it. So that would be 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 2, so this would be 5. So this would mean over 1, up 5. So right there is my vertex. It is 1, 5. I know my parabola is going to go down. Okay, my next step is you just take this equation. y equals negative 2 times x squared. You just take the front. All you care right here is about this front piece. And if I want one step over, you plug in 1. So if I plug in 1, this gives me negative 2. So if I go one step over, that means I'm going to go negative 2 means down 2. Okay. If I do this, negative 2 times blank squared, and say I plug in 2, my next step over. So that means when I go 2 over, well, this means 4, so it would be negative 8. Because 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So that means if you go two steps over, you're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And same thing over here. Okay, it's always symmetrical. It's a very quick way, nice little quick way of graphing a parabola in standard form. Now, it's not always the easiest way of doing it, but it's a quick way. So let's recap. First, you do negative b over 2a to find the middle, the axis of symmetry. You plug in 1 to just this piece, but you just when you plug in 1 here, it's always half this right here. 4 times the number you plug in, whatever that number is, this time it's 1. And then you half it, and then add the c value. That gives you the y value of a vertex. Plot it. Now from that point, since this is a you take the front piece, which is negative 2, plug in 1, you have negative 2, so that means you're going to go from here one step over, down 2. One step over, down 2. Now if that was a positive 2, you go one step over, up 2, in both directions. Then I plug in 2. I get negative 8, which means I go two steps over, down 8. Again, if that was positive 8, you go two steps over, up 8. It's a very quick way of graphing, a lot easier than making the big long table, but people sometimes get confused with this little shortcut, but it's kind of cool.